Hello everyone. My name is Abhishek and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will share some insights about the last minute interview preparation strategy. We have seen a lot of videos about the roadmaps, courses to follow, channels to follow, playlists to follow. But this video is strictly focused only on the last minute interview preparation strategy. I'm not talking about last 30 minutes or last one hour, but at least one or two days before the interview, if you follow these tips, you will have more chances of getting selected in the interview. Personally, these are some things that I follow. It has always worked for me and I hope it will also help you. So please watch this video till the end. First of all, what I believe is that there are two things that are very important for an interview. Number one is job description. Number two is resume. And most of the interviews, I'm talking about most of the interviews, will actually be based on these two things. Some interviewers mostly focus on job description. Some interviewers mostly focus on the resume. And the tips that I'm going to share are also based on these two things. Okay. So the first thing that I would like to say today is try to read the job description at least two to three times. Lot of us just look at the key points of the job description or just look at the keywords of the job description. But most of the companies take a lot of time to write the job description. Some companies, they just copy paste the job description, but engineers of companies usually take time to write the job descriptions and they will write the job description according to the position that they are looking for. So you will get a lot of details. What exactly are they looking for? What will you work if you join that company? So try to read the job description at least two to three times, not just look at the keywords or the key points, but read every line. Now let's say for some reason, you did not understand a lot by digging deep into the job description. You will also get an email and that emails will usually uh, help you understand who are the interviewers going to be. Sometimes you get this email one day before the interview. Sometimes you also get it a week before the interview. But what I'm trying to say is you will get that email where you will know the people who are going to interview you. It will take little effort to go to LinkedIn, to go to Google and try to search for those people. And again, try to dig deeper into their LinkedIn profiles. If the people are active on LinkedIn, then that is very good advantage for you because you can see their activities. You can see what are they interested in. You can also try to understand, you know, what are the things that they are experts in. Even with that, sometimes you will understand what kind of projects are they working on. Let's say if I'm working on a GitOps based project, probably my posts might be mostly on GitOps and using that also, you will get some insight on, okay, what can be the project be and what can I expect for the interview? Apart from that, you should also focus on the company and the project. You might ask me, Abhishek, how will I understand about the project? Again, just try to put some effort. Try to see within your LinkedIn network or within your outside network. If you have friends of friends or friends who are working in those companies. And if you get those details, you can ask them about the project. You can give the names of the people who are taking your interview and get more insight on what is that project what exactly people are doing in that project. And most importantly, what is the future aspiration of that project? I'll give you one simple tip. Let's say the project is completely on on premises and through this contact, you understood that they are trying to migrate to AWS or they're trying to migrate to GCP or Azure. You can expect a lot of questions on the migration. Probably that is not mentioned in the job description or it's not mentioned anywhere, but because they are going to work on that, that is something that will run in their mind all the time. And even 
when they sit for the interview they will ask questions around those topics again it cannot be in the job description or it cannot be but you can expect such questions right so networking plays a very important role in this cases probably you might have built your linkedin profile for months years together and it is the best time you can use your linkedin network or your outside network another important thing is your resume because you might have put a lot of points in your resume some people just dump all the points in their resume and your resume might get shortlisted if you add a lot of points all the trending technologies as per the job description if you prefer uh, prepare the resume your resume might get selected but read each and every point that you have written in your resume you could have used some sources you could have copied the resume from others but before you sit in the interview just try to read through your resume understand each and every point that you have put in your resume and what kind of questions they can ask let's say one of the point is i have reduced the cost for my organization by 20% or i have improved the release process and i brought in the efficiency which is like 20 30% then definitely they'll ask you the questions what is that efficiency what did you add how was the project looking before what are the changes that you have made right so just like how you have to read your job description you also have to read your resume multiple times so that you can understand what kind of questions they can ask you on the basis of resume now these are some common tips that i usually follow and this has helped a lot rather than trying to sit down and read all the concepts because a lot of times what happen is when you have interview you are very nervous you get you get confused you don't understand what kind of questions they ask and you start preparing everything like you start reading about kubernetes you start reading about full stack you start reading about uh, database you start reading everything but instead if you focus your energy for that last two days and try to just focus only on the job description and resume you will have definitely more chances at least 30 40 more chances 30 40% more chances of getting selected right and if you organize all of these things you can also control the interview which is very very important at the most you have 30 minutes 40 minutes or 1 hour for an interview and either the interview can go in the hands of the interviewer or the interview can go into your hands always try to make sure that your knowledge is conveyed very well you understand what are their requirements and you try to explain very clearly what you can bring on the table if you join their organization and you can do all these things only if you understand job description if you understand your resume very well so these are some of the tips that i wanted to share in today's video i hope you found them informative do let me know in the comment section if you have any such strategies that you follow or anything that has worked for you that i missed in the video see you all in the next one